Well, according to my map check, I am on the right road. I just have to uh, continue going straight and Blue Cave is just a couple of kilometers up ahead. The great thing about this cave is that it's right on the road. You don't have to leave the road at all. There's no hiking to be done at the end or anything like that. You can drive straight there. And the other great thing is uh, turning out to be just the countryside. Really nice out here. my welcoming committee. <laughs> oh, I've arrived at the Blue Cave. Here it is be behind me. I just parked my scooter over there in the shade. And the first thing I noticed when I uh, showed up here is on the, the walls of the rocks here, from a distance I thought those were all uh, mushrooms. Um, but I think they're actually beehives, um, like hun honeycombs from uh, beehives. Just gonna walk up, uh, take a closer look. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. But I don't see any bees flying around.
main entrance to the cave. I was wondering when we would start to see some of the blue color. And here you can see the walls are kind of a, a grayish blue. Looks more gray to me than blue, but if you uh, convince yourself that that's blue, you could uh, think that it's blue. Some really interesting rock formations up above me. a uh, interesting placement for such a large tree just right there at the entrance Is really cool because the the main rock of the cliff is the one color the grayish blue but then the minerals that drip through with the water to form all the stalagmites and stalactites are a uh, completely different color they have that uh, brownish color so they really stand out as a separate part of the uh, rock formation like the, uh, the rock behind the Buddha image here to the right has been carved, uh, an eye has been carved onto it to make it look like an elephant. And it really does look like an elephant. I wonder if that's completely natural or whether they uh, shaped it that way. Very bright and colorful uh, carpets there for kneeling down. Since I brought along my little flashlight, there it is there. Thought I'd uh, break it out and see if it helps me see things a bit more clearly. Yeah. Actually, it kind of lights up the uh, ceiling of the cave above me. These are all interesting formations, almost like uh, mushrooms or something you would see in the sea, jellyfish structures. Oh, that is a really beautiful structure there. It would be nice if this whole area was lit up with some lighting. if there were any bats and there they are up there just uh yeah at the highest point there you can see a whole bunch of bats they look to be very small ones maybe baby bats and a couple of adults flying around yeah there's a bat There's 
another interesting uh, formation. And again, this thing looks like a huge jellyfish. showed me the, uh, the interior. So this is where I think I saw a lot of the people taking pictures. The, the cave does continue behind the, uh, the Buddha statue. Wow, it's really beautiful. An interesting part about this uh, deeper cave is that there's actually quite a few bats hanging from the ceiling and they end up uh, quite close to your head as you walk around. They're just a foot or two above your head if you're tall. You can see three of them in the archway there ahead of me. I was walking along and uh, just when I got to that point all three of them kind of took off and flew by my head. And one was left still standing, still hanging right above my head. So I got a really good uh, look at him, but I didn't get any uh, video of the, uh, of the little fellow. But we'll see how close I can get without disturbing them. There's three of them right there. Whoa, there he goes, one of them. Amazing that they can hang from the ceiling like that. Like, what are they holding on to? Hey, little guy. Oh, no. They look so small when you see just their body, but then when they fly away, their wingspan is much larger than you'd think. So they seem like they're quite larger than uh, they really are. Now I wish I had a more uh, powerful light or a camera that was better in low light. But I think you can get a bit of an idea of what this place looks like. Yeah, it's not a large cave, but it is quite an attractive one. The tunnel goes on. Oh. <laughs> if I'd kept going right there, 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 there was a bat right on the ceiling there. I would have hit him with my uh, face. But I think they would fly away before that happened. ceiling is getting pretty low over here as well. Really have to bend down. It's amazing. I haven't hit my head on the ceiling yet. I keep waiting to give my head a good crack on the rocks. Oh, man, it goes quite a bit farther than I thought. Yeah, the uh, cave continues in that direction. That's where I just came from. A little alcove over here. Huh. Very cool. Hmm.
some kind of a warning sign here. I'll have to Google Translate that later. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think I need to translate that. That just means be very careful. Whoa. That is a serious uh, drop off. Yeah. And hopefully this cement uh, sidewalk is nice and sturdy. Man, this cave is much bigger than I expected. Look at that. Just looking ahead of me. Huh, from what I read online, people were constantly saying, oh, the cave isn't that big, it's only so many meters deep, so don't expect very much, that kind of thing. But I'm very impressed with this place. It's much bigger and more complicated than I expected. There's that pit again. Look at that. Maybe GoPro doesn't capture it, but that is a long ways down with a very uh, sudden edge here. So with this sign, they're not messing around. I wonder how dark it would be in here if all the lights went out, like if the generator ran out of gas or something. Yeah, it could be very dark in here and then that hole could be quite dangerous. So I'm very glad I have my flashlight now. I was just saying at the very beginning that uh, I brought my flashlight and I don't really need it. And actually it turns out it's very helpful and it could even be necessary even for this small cave. Look at that, it just goes on. This is me inside the cave. I've had the uh, camera pointed away from me this entire time, but it really is me. Here I am. Oh, but I can't really uh, walk forward while looking at the camera. There's uh, I've got some uh, steps to deal with here. I took my sandals off to go into the temple and my poor feet are taking a bit of a beating on these rocks inside the cave. Ow, 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 ow. I don't have the tough feet that I had when I was a kid. I went barefoot all the time, but these days I don't think I can go barefoot very much. Nice. That is really beautiful. And I was wondering whether the cave would eventually come out the other side and you do a loop, but it looks like, oh, well, it goes even further up here. But I think this would be the very end of the cave right here. Well, it's time to head out of the cave, I think. Head back to the surface. Oh. I still don't see a lot of blue color. But I guess my flashlight isn't, maybe isn't powerful enough to bring out the blue. Or maybe it's just my eyes, but I do see gray for the most part. 
As I said, I can almost convince myself it's a bluish, whoa, gray. I keep losing my balance in here, which is strange. But the, <laughs> the steps, they are tilted backwards, so they aren't, ow, 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 the easiest steps to navigate. What a great passageway. view up above is very cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you gotta be a little bit on the slim side uh, to make it through here. Once again. Oh. That is crazy looking down there. I wonder if they ever had a kind of a rope ladder or something like that ever going down there. Oh, I said that the cave was really dry, but this is one spot where there's a little bit of, uh, uh, there's a little bit of uh, moisture coming from somewhere up there. And you can hear water dripping down there a little bit. See, it does look uh, wet down there. Uh, I've reached one of the low sections where I have to <laughs> Crouch, uh, crouch down a little bit. And try not to uh, hit my head. Stand up straight again. <laughs> Feels good. I haven't seen any of my bats for a while. I don't know where they are. Is there a closer to the entrance up ahead of me? up on another low section. I think this is the lowest portion of all. Yeah, it's amazing how smooth the surface is. It actually feels um, like granite, sort of a, it's a dusty granite feeling. Uh, I feel my knapsack scraping against the roof, but luckily I haven't hit my head yet. Almost back at the uh, entrance where the uh, Buddha statue and the uh, elephant carving is. It's funny how even a brief amount of time inside a cave like this starts to feel a little bit spooky. Caves are just spooky in general, I guess. But uh, while I've been in here, I would occasionally see a, uh, 
a Buddha image, like this one over here on the left. And uh, I spotted this one out of the corner of my eye and I kind of jumped because I wasn't expecting anybody to be there. No, that's the most interesting thing about this cave system for me is the, the difference between the main rock and then the, uh, the mineral that gets deposited from water flowing down. And uh, again, not to get too uh, geologically goofy, but just to think about the amount of time that has to pass for one of these uh, stalagmite or stalactite formations to grow, just kind of a uh, yeah, it kind of boggles the mind. I'm sure glad I brought the flashlight, that's for sure. Oh, back at the main uh, entrance to the cave, and there's the reclining Buddha and uh, the elephant. I really have to wonder whether that is just a happy accident. It looks so much like an elephant. You know, the head and the ears. Of course, the eye was carved, but I wonder about the rest of it. Was it shaped to look like an elephant? <laughs> Here we are, I'm back in the main, main entrance. Well, I'm back at the main entrance to the cave and the shrine. That was very interesting. I enjoyed that very much. It's one of those cases where I came here with fairly low expectations and this place uh, far exceeded, uh, far exceeded my expectations. Again, it's not a huge cave system compared to uh, cave systems around the world, I'm sure, but uh, a lot more extensive than uh, I expected on my way up here. And it just has a, a lot of really beautiful uh, rock formations everywhere. Oh, and there's that tree at the entrance just from the other side. Couldn't ask for a more dramatic setting for a tree, especially one uh, of that size. Still very curious about all these honeycombs. I think with that many honeycombs, you would see at least the occasional bee flying around, but maybe this is just the wrong time of year. The colonies aren't uh, active right now. Yeah, that really struck me when I was in there, how we're quite dependent on that generator for lights inside the cave. So if you were in there without a flashlight and that generator just happened at that moment to run out of gas, you'd be, uh, I mean, you could still see your eyes would adjust. There's enough places, I think, where light would come in. But for the first minute or so, it'd be quite startling to suddenly be in uh, pitch black. Just have to make sure you avoid that uh, deep pit. I think that is the end of my visit to the Blue Cave here in uh, the Mesot countryside. I'm going to hop on my scooter and drive back into the city. But in terms of me talking to you, 
I think that is going to be the end of uh, today's small adventures, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.